Hello everybody, I'm Dan Arvin in Trade 2000, also known as Dan 2010 on Xbox Live, and I'm going to admit something, today is a Wednesday, meaning that Battlegrounds has already happened, Raw has already happened, and Smackdown Live has already happened. So, because of the work, because of work I wasn't able to record this um, uh, WWE Battlegrounds at all. So this is the only day I've had in a, lot, in a while since my last one, and but, but the last one was before Battlegrounds. And here we go! This is Battlegrounds kickoff show. I'm gonna skip past the, the actual thing, the um, kickoff show, to see if there's any matches on the kickoff show. And if so, I'll, as always, I'll make some predictions for any bonus matches that I put on the card. So here we go. And I don't know who it is. It's Maro. It's a good, my good friend Maro. Maro from, from uh, a couple of days. I can't really say Mara right now, the it's the last pay-per-view where both brands are together. It's the Usos! They are both on Smackdown. What's up? What's up? When we say, when they say oos, we say oh, oos, oos, here we go, I have no idea who the Usos are facing, but it's going to be a good match, at least I hope, because the Usos are really good at high flyers, and I can't wait to see who wins this match. The Usos, the animal, and here comes Breeze Dango. Both of these teams known for their Rizango, oh, Rizango. Rizango. Users and I want the users because I don't want Tyler Breeze and Brad Dango to win this one. And I just know that the users are going to win as they are a pretty goddamn good team. Although Breeze and Dango have actually had up their fair share of victories, so we'll just have to wait and see. Here we go! Fandango. And I know my super kick. It's a ton of breeze this time. Uso. Go for that splash. No oh, there it goes. There goes Fandango and uh, Snow on the knees up. And now we're on two, three. Oh my god, Fandango. A ton of breeze. Breeze Dango. Breeze Dango have 
done it. Breeze Angle has done it. Fuck you, train. Stupid detail train. Newgrounds as the intro for it. And of course, the. Um, the intro? What's it? I thought. Um, pyro? Not the pyro. Freaking promo! The promo. Promo. Here we go then. Battlegrounds. Oh, there's the pyro. There we go. The pyro is done, and battlegrounds is about to begin. And I hope we see. A six man tag match next. Or is it going to be a tag match? I, I, I hope it's not for the titles. I think I made a mistake. But still, I think and I want the uh, New Day to win. If it's the, nope, it's the women's match up first. Here comes the women's champion, Charlotte and Dana Brooke. Women's division match, tag team match. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot it's Sasha Banks has got a mystery partner. Spoiler alert, it's Bailey. <laughs> I don't, I'm saying that to myself because you already know. But this is just my reaction, so you already know, I don't care. Here goes Sasha Banks. Here she comes. Well, I'm about to find out. Please be someone good. Please don't be legend. Don't be legend. Be someone from NXT. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Please, please be Bailey. 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 Don't be Paige. Be Bailey. Be Bailey. Be Bailey. 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 Please, please, please. Please. Everybody's begging. Everybody's begging. And then no one that's there at the time is probably begging. Oh. Please, 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 please. And if it's not, I will. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Look at all those motivated. signs. They're gonna be disappointed. Everyone, while she's smiling, she knows it is. You better goddamn be Bailey. You better goddamn be Bailey. People are gonna be pissed if it's not. It is! It's Bailey! Holy smokes! I knew it! Bailey! Holy mother of mercy! She's a hugger, alright! It's Bailey! We all know the spoiler right now! Oof! Two! For no! Only a two count man. When you're a champion, you put every obstacle you can in front of every contender out there. So you keep the championship. That's funny. One, two, no! Only a two again. Moments ago, this is vintage Sacha Banks. 
then up Charlotte for that backstabber into the bank statement, but Charlotte able to hang on to the rope, catch him with an eight. Oh, Natural that's selection! That's it, and looking for the victory, and Bailey gets it. Bailey gets it. Now Dana Brooke sends Bailey flying out of the ring. Oh, man. Can't get hit between Dana Slipner. Face. Looking for the figure of eight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Small package. Small package. statement. This is what Sasha's been asking for. I wanna, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bank statement, she's got the bank statement locked in. Bank statement, she's got nowhere to go. So she's got nowhere to go. She's jumping out. She's jumping out to the bank statement. And Sasha Banks and Bailey win. Jesus Christ, up. Oh my goodness. Bailey and Sasha Banks win after the tap out from the bank statement. Pretty impressive victory by Bailey of all choices as Sasha Banks. What an amazing Sasha. victory. And this time, Kudos. Kudos. Pretty impressive. Damn. 
Sorry for you, mate. Jesus Christ. 
Fight forever. Fight forever. This is awesome. Indeed, this is awesome. I agree. Oh, slap. Slap her in the mush. And again. Exploder suplex. Another exploder suplex. Kalova kick. Kalova kick. Boom. He caught him. One more time. I thought Sammy Zane was showing compassion. Good Kalova kick! He won the field goal! One, two, three! Yeah! Sammy Zane wins! Oh, oh, oh! Sammy! Ba, 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 Natalia wins the matchup. Crowd was not at all pleased. Nova was nine. It's to Natalia. Here comes Darren Young. Let's make Darren Young great again. He is raw. Unfortunately, Darren Young is now going to be great again, not just yet. Smackdown's in a Continental Champion. The Miz with Maurice. And 
The hell is he wearing? What the fuck is the Miz wearing? Can yeah. anybody in the comment section below explain what the hell the Miz is what he's wearing on Battlegrounds? Bob Backlund is there. He ain't going nowhere. It's on the right, he goes. Oh my god, really? A little slap. Oh, cross race chicken wing. He's had enough. What? What? Fuck this ball back in the bus. This match technically. Wait, why did they ring the bell? Actually, I do have a question there. Does he attack the mids? Why did they ring for the bell? That makes no sense. Because technically speaking, he hit the manager, but he didn't. There comes John the Fun Cena. You can't see John Cena, and you can't see me. John Cena follows. Back on SmackDown after God knows how many years. John Cena, bitch. Oh, oh, Maury! And I am a fun 
find a stunt. And you can't teach that. And this right this is big cats. That is settled for the door. And you can't teach that. How you do that? But that bad decision making starts the second you walk down that aisle and get in this way. So, kids, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What's that? I'm going to give them a little advice. Okay, okay. Don't eat yellow snow. How you doing? Don't pee in the wind. How you doing? Always lie on your resume. Don't wear crops. Ever. Never make eye contact with anyone when you're eating a banana. Take a note, John. Shut up, Mark. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How am I doing? How are you and doing? my last piece of advice is do not step in this ring with us three and let you got a great dental plan. Because you will be wearing dentures for the rest of your life. Because we will knock your teeth down your throat and beat the crap out. And then when your bed's over, and you're picking your teeth up out of your crap, that's when I walk up on you like a certified G and say you cannot Washington PCD. is over, you better have a good dentist and you better have a good therapist because you are going to be physically defeated and mentally depleted. How you doing? How you doing? Give it up for Enzo. I mean, that was excellent. Since he's had that freaking slam on the head, he's been more nuttier than ever. Dad, I think you got something to say. Indeed, I do. 
AJ Styles, you got your soccer mom haircut. Wow, wow so original. Keep on doing soccer mom things. Get your minivan, pick up the boys from Kiwi Wee Soccer Practice, load them into the minivan. Maybe pack a lunch, some sandwiches, cut the crust off, I don't know. Then you drive them to Monday Night Raw, and you drop them off, because that's where me and Zoe are going to be, waiting to throw them a beat. How you going? Ooh. And then you head to SmackDown Live, and on your very long drive there, you reminisce and you think about that one time, that one night in Washington, D.C. Top to the money, Chris. Big Cass, Enzo Amore, and John Cena prove that for you and your club, there's only one more to describe you, and I'm gonna spell it out for ya. S A W F T Swaft. Holy hell, that's gonna stay in. Here come that club for the very last time. Stupid. They don't want none. They don't want none. He's going for a super attitude adjustment. Holy mother of God, this is a, this is as good as the Kevin Owens just a Sami Zayn match. Oh my God, an AA off the turnbuckle. One, two, three, it's over. John Cena and Enzo and Cass win! So do -ba -do. John Cena, Super Cena, and Enzo and Cass certified G, and you can see me. Well, that is interesting. Net, WWE Network at its best. Well, here comes Chris Jericho Bye Bye for the highlight reel with your boy, my boy, Brand New York, my favorite, uh, second favorite now. Current day WWE superstar. That's my favorite is Dean Ambrose now. It's changed over the last couple of weeks. Maybe even months. Since just Randy Orton's been out. Jesus Christ, it looks like he's hot into the ring. He's, he's, he's had a stroke. Well, Jerry, I thought it was one of you. Well, Orton's had his problems with Jarrett in the past. I can smell an RKO coming out of nowhere. I can definitely see him. That World champion, the first rival student champion, Chris Jericho. Well, this is going to be surely quiet, 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 quiet. quiet. Quiet! 
I want to tell you right now, this is the biggest highlight reel in WWE history. Oh yeah, because my guest tonight is returning to the WWE after being gone for nine months with a shoulder injury. He is returning to the WWE and at SummerSlam, he's gonna take on the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. But he's here tonight. My guest on the Highlight Reel, Randy Orton! Here we go! I hit the voice that is in my head. Randy Orton! He's back! I just said that! Smackdown! He's indeed back! And this time, he's on the SmackDown. And WWE SummerSlam, Randy Orton returns to take on the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Better watch out. This man is coming. Randy Orton is going to RK you. You out of nowhere, then you'll get up and take it to Zoopunk City. I've been waiting to see this for a long time. Are you ready, folks? Are you ready? You ready to see this? Do it, do it. Do it, For nine months I've been at home enjoying soaking up every minute, every second with my wife and my children, but I just realized something walking down the ramp, walking through the curtain, getting in this ring, I realized something that during those nine months, something was missing. And it was this. It was you. You know, DC, you got me in such a good mood that I don't mind on the night of my big return, I got to share the ring with this guy. This guy. That's all he has to say, you're going to chat RKO. You know, Oregon, instead of uh, insulting me, you should be thanking your lucky stars you had the good fortune to be in the ring with me, making your big return on the highlight reel with the best in the world at what I do, and one of the greatest of all time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, go baby, go right here. Just the fact, Orton, that you're in the ring with me puts you on a different level. You're welcome. Now, now Chris, I'm in a good mood. These people have got me in a good mood, but don't think that that might just change Real quick, you, you might provoke me to drop your ass. I don't know. Oh, oh. You, you mean with an RKO out of nowhere? Huh? Yeah. Out of nowhere. Hashtag out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. 
ain't gonna happen to Oregon's left. You better watch it, or I might hit you with a code breaker out of nowhere. Oh no, that's not gonna happen. Okay, I'm out of nowhere. Well, let me just give you a little update. You've been gone for nine months. Let me tell you what's been going along in the WWE since you've been gone. There's been a brand expansion. Raw and SmackDown are split. Now they're separate shows. You're on SmackDown, in case you didn't know. General Manager Daniel Bryan. I'm on Raw with the General Manager Mick Foley, who is under the guiding hand of one of the most talented people I've ever had the pleasure to know, Stephanie McMahon. One of my favorite people and has been from the moment I came into the WWE. Yeah, right. Also, bad news, the WWE Champion, Dean Ambrose, is a barbarian who struck 69 tracks into my flesh. I had to pull these tracks out one by one by one. Oh! This isn't about Dean Ambrose, this is about you, Randy, returning to the WWE after nine months. And I want to give you a welcome that you deserve. I want to give you a present since you've been gone for so long. I want to give you something that's going to help you in your quest to beat Brock Lesnar. I want to give you something that's going to make you a better oh boy. performer than you already are. I'm going to give you something that everybody here wants. The gift of Drago? That everybody here needs. Randy, I'm going to give you the gift of Jericho. Drink it in. Just do it already. I didn't mean to startle you. I just had to get up close and personal and see what exactly it is that causes your hair to be back. <laughs> And take this as a compliment, please. Um, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I thought for a split second I wasn't on the highlight reel and that I was actually on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Because of the haircut is what I mean. Compliment, totally meant that as a... <laughs> you can all shut up right now. But don't you worry about my hair, Randy, which you should worry about is the fact that your sunny disposition is obviously the same that it was, unfortunately. But even more unfortunately is the fact that Brock Lesnar is still the most destructive, maniacal, menacing force of nature in WWE history, Randy, and he's coming for you. Oh yeah, and in case you forgot what Brock was like, let's take a look as some of his work right here on the obscenely expensive Jeritron 6500. Roll the clips, monkeys. I'm not here to write fairy tale stories, and I'm not here to feel good about anything. I'm here to, to, to cause utter, utter frickin' chaos. You're looking in the eyes of an absolute face. Look at the eyes of after suplex after suplex. I mean, the human body is not meant to be folded like that, but you should know this. I mean, you and Brock started together 15 years ago in WWE Developmental, but the weird thing to me is even though you've been in the same company for all this time, you always seem to avoid Brock. Maybe a little scared, perchance, a little scared of Brock Lesnar? I will say, Randy, I think maybe, uh, I think maybe you are scared of Brock Lesnar. Chris, the fact that you even say that, I can tell right away. What, the, what made you decide 
to make the mutton head decision to face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Why would you do that? Chris, you and I obviously are cut from the same cloth. I was out nine months. So while I was out, I knew I had to come back in the spring, make a statement, have an epic return. And I wasn't going to do that. I was going to face the biggest, baddest dude in the locker room. And that just so happens to be Brock Lesnar. How epic of a return, how much of a statement would I have made if I would have came back after nine months and faced Fandango? Oh. Real cute. You know, I never liked you, Orton. I still don't like you. But I'm going to be man enough to be honest with you. Okay? At SummerSlam, Brock Lesnar's going to kick your ass. He's going to bounce you around like a rubber ball. And he's going to take you to Suplex City, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm completely aware of that. Like you said, I've known Brock for 15 years, so I know at SummerSlam he's going to slam me, suplex me, pillar to post. All the while, with a smile on his big, ugly mug, I know he's going to suplex me over and over and over and over again. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 times even? What is it, about 20 suplexes? That's how many it takes to get to Suplex City, right? Well, it only takes one RKO to get to Viperville. No enhancement needed. Something tells me you're going to pay for that little comment, Randy. Okay? He's going to get knocked You know what's funny though? I actually know somebody that's very close to Brock Lesnar and he's got a couple messages he wants to relay to you. Okay? Yeah. Brock says that since you've been avoiding him for 15 years, Brock says that you're a coward. His words, not mine. Brock also says that he's gonna tear your shoulder apart, rip your arm off, and eat it for breakfast. Brock's words, not mine. And Brock also says, really coincidental about this one, he also says, you're a stupid idiot. Oh boy. Brock's words, not mine. Does that make you mad? Think that little Twitch thing going there, huh? You're gonna give me an RKO out of nowhere? Can you give me one now? Or do I know what now? Oh boy. You gonna take me to Viperville, Randy? Would be now. Oh boy. You're not gonna do a damn thing. What is it now? Oh boy. Like I said, you worry about Lesnar at SummerSlam. Stay out of my business. You dig? <laughs> oh, it came out of nowhere! And I have There we go! At SummerSlam! 
The pump ran the Orton home. Triple A on the winning for the Lunatic. To come out of here with the WWE Championship from home to SmackDown. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome the general manager of Raw, WWE Hall of Famer, Nick Foley. You know what? They kicked off show tonight. Part of the social media allows Nick Foley said that he's going to be on the way to the ring to watch this triple threat match. Nick Foley coming out of the ring. And now here's Stephanie to watch the triple threat match. And there's going to be better decision making on Monday Night Raw. Think about some of the things Stephanie has brought and she's also got better ego getting away. Brought her to kick Raw on a new height, even a, a cruiserweight division. And now that comes the SmackDown Commissioner, Shane McMahon. I hope, but I do not want Roman Reigns to win, and I don't use not want to watch this, and that's watching this, not want this, do you know what I mean, no, 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 no to Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, but Roman Reigns, uh-uh. Over that prestigious title, the WWE Championship. Seth Rollins, of course, was the number one pick in the entire draft. And he went to Monday Night Raw. Here we go, the booze. And he's back. The booze are not even. Actually, to be fair, man, the booze are not even. They're not being muted. Listen. Shut the door. Does that give him the advantage? Byron can roll the reins. 
champion Dean Ambrose. What is going to happen on Raw? I cannot wait to see. And here comes the SmackDown roster. Here comes the SmackDown roster. Here comes the SmackDown roster. The look at the skills of Mick Foley's and Stephanie's face. Smackdown! Wait a minute, that's a bit ironic that the Usos are lifting up Dean Ambrose after the, what just happened. So do you drop him? <laughs> what a stupid idiot! God, stupid! I'm gonna, oh man, I don't want to supplicate him. Uh, uh, boots, so. I'm gonna freaking what a bloody pay per view! Ah, uh, first of all, the kicker show the Usos and. Breeze Dango went one on one and uh, Breeze Dango picked up the victory. Um, all the excitement happened. Oh my god, just, oh my god, that was a good pay per view from kickoff to finish. Uh, it was great. I fucking enjoyed every moment of it. Then we had starting off Battleground itself, the actual pay per view with Charlotte and Dana Brooke. Taking on Sasha Banks and a mystery partner. Who was the mystery partner? I was right. It was Bailey. Bailey and Sasha Banks pick up the victory there. Going on for another women's match, what was later on in the pay per view, it was Natalia versus uh, 
Specky Lynch, SmackDown vs. Raw match. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I did the SmackDown vs. SmackDown. Not three. My bad. Uh, but Natalia picked up the victory by locking in the sharpshooter, and Becky Lynch tapped me out to the sharpshooter. Uh, we had the United States Championship match, where Rusev crushed Zack Ryder and retained the United States Championship. Then we got into this new contest of an Intercontinental Championship match with a weird ending. Uh, I don't know who won that match, or I don't know if it was disqualification or what. But your Miz is still the Intercontinental Champion, even though it was a me, the engine was really shit and should never have happened. But in my mind, I wanted, there are two matches, maybe even three matches, that are, now even four, there are four matches that, that I could consider being match of the night. The first one was the New Day versus the Wyatts. The Wyatts picked up the victory as Xavier Woods was just too weak to face Bray Wyatt and Bray Wyatt hit the sister Abigail one, two, three, the Wyatts win also another six man tag team match John Cena uh, John Cena John Cena and then someone cast went one on well went one on one against the club and John Cena and Enzo and Cass won the match after a super attitude adjustment from John Cena to AJ Styles off of the turnbuckle. One, two, three. John Cena and Big Cass and Enzo and Moy win the match. We have the segment. And then we have the segment where there's just a highlight reel where the returning Randy Orton delivers a perfectly funny RKO. I don't know where after the trash talking, after the trash talking between Randy Orton and. I don't know why I'm doing this, but. <laughs> Randy Orton and Chris Jericho. Reminding us that Randy Orton is going to face Brock Lesnar at some point. That was a good segment. But another good match. Uh, probably match of the night. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens settle things for the last time. And even though they're both on Raw, I don't know what's going to happen on Raw. I'm about to find out. Go downstairs and watch it. But I think myself, the match was brilliant. But there's going to be one winner, and that winner was Sami Zayn. And the, going on to the main event, what the main what a shield triple threat match it was. It couldn't have ended any better. And I would like to say, we have a champion and still WWE champion, SmackDown Zone, Dean, Unstoppable Ambrose. This is why I like Dean Ambrose. This is why I'm going to pay attention to Friday, well, sorry, Tuesday Night Smackdown Live. Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon have their champion, but Stephanie and Mick Foley do not have theirs. What will I see when I go downstairs and watch Raw now? I'm about to find out. But for you guys, you can subscribe and put something somewhere on the, you know, the bottom of the screen somewhere to say subscribe and if you want to watch some previous videos then there'll be on there'll be some capitations um, and limitations to say which ones you want to watch if you don't want to watch um, my predictions for WWE Battlegrounds they're on there if you want to watch the predictions for WWE 2K17 they're on there and I'm Dan RPD3 2000, also known as Dan 2010, and I just watched one of the best pay per views so far, in my opinion. I'm gonna probably say that about every pay per view because so far, 2016, it's been a great year for WWE pay per view wise. Um, what did you think of oh, Battlegrounds? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm Dan over to Trade 2000, also known as Dan 2010 on Xbox Live. And until, and I'll see you at the WWE SummerSlam 2016.
2016 predictions. And until then, bye-bye.